Hey folks, it's Duke here. Today we're taking a look at the uh, 282 QB. It's Passport 2022 model. You can see it's got a uh, solar panel up there on the roof, 200 watt solar panel. What I'm gonna do is show you some of the features on the outside. Then we're gonna take a look at the uh, floor plan inside. But uh, you can see it's got the uh, solar panel up there. It has a solar charge controller. I'll show you that in just a second. This one does have power stabilizers on there. And back here in the back, it's got what we call a wraparound storage area. So when you're, uh, you can open it from this side and you can open it from the back and the other side. It's just like a U-shaped storage that goes all the way around. I'll show you that on the other side. Also, we've got this big awning. It's a little tight in here, but the awning, it goes about, I'd say over 75% of the coach. See those stereo speakers right up there. And uh, that's the outside of your refrigerator. Here's a place you can hook up the TV. There's a power supply for it. It's an inverted outlet in the key TV system, which is cable and uh, satellite wires in one. So this one has the extended camping season. So that means it's very well insulated. The Solar Flex 200, 282 QB. Let's take a look at the specs on it. We'll take a look at that sticker over here. It's got a couple of 25 or 20 gallon, 20 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack right there. Now it does have an auxiliary connection here for solar, Zamp Solar. Uh, it, sorry about that camera work. Let me just lift this up so you can see it. Plugs in right there. That would be for like a suitcase solar. But it already it does have a solar panel already. And there is the solar charge controller for it. Located in this pass-through with the aluminum construction. Here's your wet bay with the hot and cold shower, your city water connection, fresh water, the key TV system, the controls for your stabilizers right there. So uh, here are your specs on this one. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,160 pounds. Gross vehicle weight 7,700, but that's only if you're gonna fill it up with a bunch of stuff. It's 6,160 is the key thing in my opinion, uh, but just, to be aware of how much the axles can accommodate as the gross vehicle weight so you can see those windows back there that is for the bunk area this is a quad bunk the qb stands for quad bunk so this is the other side of that uh wraparound storage it opens there let me see if you can get an idea from the back so there's a door right here on this side there's a door here and then there's another door just like that one on the other side which I showed you a second ago so when you open it up from the back it's you can see the wrap around it opens over there you've got storage back in there and it goes all the way around so uh, it's got a lot of storage space it does have a, uh, a walkable roof they're running short on ladders right now so it's prep for uh, you can uh, it's prepped for a rear ladder it's just not on there we typically do include a rear ladder in everything that we uh we deliver but uh we just have to work that out that's not included on this particular one at this moment we could work that out it's got a uh, propane a battery will be in there right now there is no battery but we'll put propane in a battery this is your battery disconnect switch right there so typically on a sunny day, you'd have uh, electricity inside just from the solar panels. We're gonna go ahead and take a look inside. We'll walk up these steps and enter the coach. And we do have some light. There's a light on right here. You can see that's burning brightly or shining brightly. Let's see if I can get the ceiling, some ceiling lights. So it's, the thing the way this is set up, uh, they could flicker a little because it is, uh, cloudy today and there's no battery okay so we're inside the coach now and taking a look at this big sofa it's kind of the star of the show here as far as the engineering and the seating uh, you notice that the dinette you can sit on it right now on this side but this side the the back of it is leaning this way that's if you want extra sofa space this is convertible all you have to do is take this piece out right here and then shift this over here and then you've got dinette space so uh, it's multifunctional. that's a beautiful thing in an RV so this section right here will make into a bed so you've got the quad bunks in the back which I'm going to show you in a second and then you have this uh, uh, seating area here that uh, 
will convert into a bed also this section of it right here is a trifold sofa so you have somebody can sleep here a small person can sleep there of course this back of it would be over at that time and then you've got four bunks back here these it's 74 inches at 62 each bunk has its own window there is hookups for TV in there there's a couple of AC vents in here so it's ducted keep it cool in here there is a cabinet here for uh, pretty deep for storing some clothes and then there's additional space down here there are a total of four drawers and then we've got this uh, storage area right here so each occupant could have a drawer uh, there's three big shelves inside there so these quad bunks are going to accommodate four people uh, comfortably four adults could sleep in there that's not a problem uh, and then you have uh, sleeping right there that converts into a bed that converts into a bed that's six two more eight comfortably if you have two people in that bed so if you got a big family this one could be perfect for you got a nice shower right there here is the uh, double uh, medicine cabinets the sink and uh, there's some shelves there shelf there space right there next to the toilet you can see that pex plumbing down there that blue plumbing plenty of hip and leg room on that toilet and you have a uh, inverted outlet right there where you can uh, plug in something even without it being plugged into shore power so you notice these lights are on right now there's no battery in this one as i showed you outside earlier but we're getting power from the solar flex 200 system that'll that'll power up the lights maybe keep uh, uh keep your lights on depends on the sun that it's overcast right now this has uh it's keeping the light on in the fridge but the fridge will also run on propane so this is kind of really well equipped for doing some dry camping boondocking if it's not too hot and you don't need to plug in or have a generator if it's uh, cool weather uh, you can run the uh, furnace the propane furnace the lights uh, you could get extra battery if you want to so you can customize it to fit your own needs there is the kitchen area you've got that leaf that folds out big stainless steel sink just giving you a quick overview today if you want additional information just let me know there's the microwave and oven all standard stuff nice counter space this pops up here you've got extra counter space there and then you've got a bedroom right here with a uh, bed that you can walk around all the way and get on and off from each side over here you got more room to get on and off and there's a table on each side there's also a usb and 110 outlet inverted outlets there you can hook up a cpap CPAP machine no problem there is a uh, connection for TV there TV backer wall there and then you have a wardrobe on each side and then there's a window on each side of the uh, uh, bed also so you've got windows you've got wardrobe you've got storage up above then you have these double doors nice thing about those double doors the sliding doors it it just adds length and volume to the uh, coach so uh, it's just a bigger area if you got more people uh, it absorbs sound it makes it more comfortable less claustrophobic I'm sitting on the bed right now so you could sit here and chat with people uh, sitting in the sofa got the TV up there across from the sofa got four drawers right there when you walk in and then the uh, we've got access to the under the sink storage area on both sides here is the uh, stereo system and your control panel right there so thanks for viewing my video I'm Duke I'm your video host and I'll be happy to help you anytime if you have a question uh, if you're interested in this RV I'll be happy to go over the purchase process with you so thanks again for viewing my video hope you're doing well I'll put my cell phone uh, right after this section of the video it's 281-467-0659 you can send me a text I have it in the description below also Hey, thank you again. I appreciate you watching my video. And if you watch all the way to the end, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button.